Hello and welcome to the No Name Prayer Podcast. I am your host, Monica. Happy Monday. Let's begin our Lenten devotion um, from the Ascension Lenten Companion, Walking with Jesus to Jerusalem. Let us begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Compassion. But a Samaritan as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. Luke 10, verse 33. Monday of the second week of Lent. As Jesus tells the parable of the Good Samaritan, he reveals his heart to all who are listening. In his masterpiece, Jesus of Nazareth, Pope Benedict XVI, reminds us that, in a sense, that good Samaritan is Jesus, and we are the man who has been left for dead. Because of original sin, we are like the men in the parable. We have been wounded and left suffering at the side of the road. But just as the good Samaritan takes the initiative to save the man left for dead, Jesus takes the initiative to come save us. The parable reveals much, and over the next three days, We will unpack three aspects of it. Today, let us focus on Luke 10, verse 33. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. Compassion. What is compassion? When Jesus says that the Samaritan saw him with compassion, what is he telling us? The Latin root for the word compassion is pati, which means to suffer. And when and the prefix come, which means with compassion, then literally means to suffer with. The good Samaritan seems unafraid of the mess he finds when he comes upon the man on the road, wounded and suffering and left for dead. He treats the man's wounds, of course, but let us not forget that the Good Samaritan also enters into the man's suffering. Jesus is love. Love is something you do. Love propels Jesus to be with us always. Jesus is compassion itself, which means Jesus Jesus desires to suffer with us. There's nothing in our lives, including our suffering, that is too much for Jesus or that would compel him to leave us. In fact, my personal experience has taught me that the place where I need healing the most is precisely the place where Jesus wants to meet me. Many of us have our own personal stories of hurt, sin, and struggle. Many of us have brought these things to the light and are free. But some of us may have buried them deep within. Thus, yesterday's invitation to go deeper may elicit fear, or there may be an element of self-protection that causes us to resist going there. We may be afraid to go deeper because we are aware of things that are buried deep within our hearts. Do not be afraid. Jesus is compassion. Jesus, like the Good Samaritan, is longing to enter into our woundedness. It is important for us to remember that Jesus only wants to go deeper so that he can bring healing. There is never condemnation, judgment, or accusation. The heart of compassion is not afraid to suffer with us. He longs to bring healing. Do not be afraid. Jesus is love. Jesus is compassion. For your prayer, stay here for an additional 10 minutes. Today we pray with Luke 10, verse 33. Be present in the scene. Be there with Jesus. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you be in the place of the man in need of healing. 
Imagine the scene unfolding as it does in the Bible. But imagine that you are there too, and that Jesus himself is the Good Samaritan. I'm going to give us a little bit of time to, to ponder and to think about this before I start reading the Bible verse. Luke 10, verse 33. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. The word of the Lord. What words stood out to you as you prayed? What did you find stirring in your heart? For me, it was the meaning of the word compassion, to suffer with, to know that every time that I cried out, to him that every time that I suffered, every time that I was hurt, every time that something happened where I was broken hearted, he was suffering with me. Kind of hits different. Because <laughs> while I know that God loves me, and you know, I know forever I have known, yes, Jesus died for me. But it's the little things and the little details that we had not, that I had not thought about, that I had not realized are the things that are definitely um, getting to me and touching my heart during this Lent, to know that he's been there, literally been there, suffering with me, crying with me, um, It really does something to my heart. And it just kind of also shows me how much improvement I have to make because as it says, love is something you do. Um, I have to show that love more. You know, I have to act like it, not just have the feeling or go by the feeling I don't want to be afraid of going deeper I know that there are things that you know happened years ago that I may want to uh, that I may have buried deep in within me but I think it's time to whatever is left because I know that there's been some healing you know it's kind of like an onion that layers and I know that uh, God has healed a lot of the things that I've gone through but I'm pretty sure there are still things that um, 
he needs to work on he needs to heal I don't want to be afraid I don't want to be afraid to pull the band-aid I don't want to be afraid to go deeper with him I don't want to be afraid to lay it bare at the foot of the cross for him to take it all and make me new I hope that uh I hope that you enjoyed this uh, reflection for today. I hope that for your own well-being and your healing that you're not afraid either to that you have the courage to allow him to enter into your woundedness and you allow him to go deeper. You have a wonderful day. God bless you. Please share with a friend. Don't forget to follow, subscribe, and pray for me that I will pray for you.